Hello everyone, welcome to my video. My name is Daniel. This is the second video continuing the task from the earlier DB instance installation. So in this video, I will show you how to do a basic Vim backup and replication version 10 installation and also connecting it to the pre prepared Microsoft SQL standard server and we will actually do this installation in this particular virtual machine let's look into it so I'm now in the .151 virtual machine server so I will first start off with the background replication installation and later connecting to the Microsoft SQL server with IP address .150 using the DB instance name called Veeam Backup To start, first you need to prepare the Veeam Backup Replication version 10 ISO Double click to the ISO and you can get access to the actual setup file Open up the setup and now you can choose to install which component required for you So right here, I will just choose a standalone Veeam Backup Replication component and if your server did not install the .NET Framework 4.7.2 before Veeam Backup Replication Setup will help you to do so now you require to install this as a prerequisite to continue the VBR setup. So click on OK and the background replication setup will help you to install this prerequisite. It will take a while for the .NET framework to install. After the .NET framework installation has been done, you're now able to continue with the actual Vim backup and replication setup. To continue, just accept these two terms and conditions on the license agreement. Next, you can now install together with the license file that you pre-downloaded. So for me, I will just install a free community edition. Next. You can always install the license file later on. Now these are the default software included in the Veeam Backup Replication Server software. And you can also change your Veeam Backup Replication Software installation folder to your design drive letter. I will just give it to C drive. Next. And the system will pre-check your server whether all this required component is pre-installed. No worry when you see the fail status, you can always click on the install button over here to get your server ready. And Vim Backup Replication Setup will start to install all these missing feature before the actual Backup replication software installation will be done. It might take a while before you can continue. After the component installation has been done, you will see that all the state is now in pass. Then you can continue with the actual setup. So you will see here is the default configuration for the Veeam Backup and Replication Server and also the port number will be used so if you do not have any restriction on this kind of configuration you can always keep it as default and make sure your firewall do allow all this port number in and out and next thing if you would like to define your own standalone SQL server you need to 
change your different setting. Now bear in mind if you don't change this, when you click on install, the Vim Backup Replication Setup will help you to deploy one SQL 2016 Express into the same Backup Replication Server. So I will just choose, let me specify different settings, next. And it will ask you which service account to start Vim Backup Replication Services. I will just use the local system account as default next and you will see that over here next thing you can choose the SQL Server instance to be used now by default they will install a new instance using SQL Express in the same server if you did not change this default configuration now our plan here is to use an existing instance pre-prepared in video 1 earlier so I will choose the second option and proceed to change the path to either your SQL server hostname for my case I will just use the IP address directly you will see that I'm using dot one five zero as the SQL server IP address and Vim backup has the DB instance name next thing I will utilize the SQL server authentication with the default SA system administrator account plus the password we predefined when we deploy the instance in the SQL server. Next, they will try to contact the SQL server and check whether the instance is available plus the user account authentication. If you can continue up to this stage, meaning the setup already able to contact with the SQL server and it is accepted as a configuration. If you are not able to continue, just need to double check your Vim Backup Replication server whether the connection to the SQL server is ready or the firewall is actually blocking you up. For my case, it's all in a flat network without any firewall, it should be easier for myself. And over here, I will just keep the default service port number. Now, all these port number will also define in the documentation provided by Veeam online. Next, and you can change your right cache folder. This is used basically for your instant recovery, NFS data store right cache. To know more, we will actually explain it in the other video when we are showing you the instant recovery setup. Another thing will be the guest file system catalog. This is the place where when you would like to keep your file system indexing in your virtual machine for files and folder searching. This will be the folder used to keep all this data. Next, you can confirm the configuration that we put in earlier over here. And when you click on install, the actual installation will be started. It might took a while for the entire Vim Backup Replication software to complete its installation. After the installation has been done and the service is started normally, the installation is considered succeeded. So click on finish. And now you will find that the installation for Vim Backup Replication V10 is quite similar to the earlier version. And we can proceed to close the setup. And after the installation has been done, there will be a shortcut to the Vim Backup Replication Console on the desktop. Proceed to double click on it. And connect using the local I mean account. So this is the Vim Backup Replication Console. So if you can come to this stage, 
meaning the installation is completed without any issue. Thanks for watching my installation video.